When Effin told me they were coming out with a new 22 handgun, I was like, <laughs> okay. I just don't get excited about 22s like that. Don't get me wrong, they're super fun when you're shooting them, but I don't lose sleep waiting for the release of a new 22. Which was a little weird because FN wanted me to be a part of the launch of this gun. That said, when I finally got the gun in my hands, I immediately turned into Ralphie when he finally got his BB gun. Oh, it was beautiful. I could hardly wait to try it out. I was so smitten by the 502 tactical that I was almost speechless. God, just think, all right, so I don't know when you guys are gonna see this, um, but I asked them, hey, am I the thing? I was like, can I see this little thing you're working on? And I was like, and they were like, yeah, sure, let's take a look. And they pulled this beautiful little thing, this little black, beautiful, chocolatey, gorgeous little 22. Look at this. She got, oh my God, you got an extended magazine, 15 rounds. You got a safety with the single stage, single stage hammer. You have a red dot. You got to kind of play for the red dot with the suppressor height sights, suppressor height sights with the threaded barrel, and you get the. Oh my gosh! Look at it. Look at it. Now playing, but no, seriously, I've never been excited about a 22. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> First thing I noticed was how much the 502 tactical looked and felt like the 509 tactical, notwithstanding weight differences. With the threaded barrel, suppressor height sights, rail for your light, a freaking cutout for your red dot, and a 15 round magazine, this gun is dripping in tacticalness in a way most 22 caliber handguns can only hope to achieve. The 502 tactical was pure overkill for a 22, and I love it. The responsible parts of my brain want to tell you that because this gun is like the 509 Tactical, that it's the perfect training companion for the 509 Tactical, and this is an excellent way to get a lot of training reps in for cheap. And all of that is true, but all of that practicality honestly pales in comparison to the sheer enjoyment I got from just shooting the gun. The only thing I can compare it to is the Lamborghini Huracan. Aesthetically, the Huracan looks like it will be a handful to drive. But when I drove it, it was one of the easiest cars to drive I've ever driven. That's the 502 Tactical to a T. It's seriously tactical in the best ways possible, but can almost seem intimidating to the uninitiated considering how closely it resembles the 509 Tactical, which is a beast in its own right. But once you run one mag through the gun, you instantly want to shoot this gun all day, and God forbid you put a suppressor on it, and you'll want to shoot it all year because of how comfortably quiet the gun becomes. But for those of you who don't have a suppressor or live in a state where you can't own a suppressor, never fear, because right now on shop.mrcoleonthewar.com, I'm selling my favorite best bang for your buck over the ear hearing protection from AKT1. I've used my fair share of over the ear hearing protection, and these are easily the clear sounding and comfortable over the ears hearing protection with a 25 decibel noise reduction rating that I've ever used in this price class. In my opinion, they're better than some hearing protection that are twice the cost. So head over to shop.mrcoleonthewar.com and grab a pair. Your ears will thank you. The biggest difference between the 502 Tactical and 509 Tactical is the action. It's a hammer fired single action gun. Though I've seen it done, it's really hard to screw up the trigger fill on a single action gun, and the 502 Tactical is no exception. I honestly think it's a better trigger than the one on the 509 Tactical. It's just a cleaner feeling trigger to me, and I like the trigger fill on the 509 Tactical, so that's saying something. Some 22s like the Ruger Mark IV, because of its unique design, make you want to go out on a nice day, relax, and just plink indiscriminately. However, the 22, like the 502 Tactical, make you want to go out and just shred targets as fast as you can. With a capacity of 15 rounds, the 502 is one of the few 22 handguns that have more than 10 round magazines. This gun is tactical delusions of grandeur in 22 form. It has a slide cutout for a red dot for crying out loud. What's even more beautiful is that the gun freaking runs. 22 handguns have always had this reputation for being unreliable, but in all fairness, they get more and more reliable with each new offering, and the 502 Tactical 
is testament to that as my gun ran flawlessly out of the box, both suppressed and unsuppressed. The lawyer in me generally likes to stay away from making absolute statements about my opinions on guns, but the 502 Tactical makes it really super freaking hard not to call it the best tactical 22 caliber handgun on the market right now. Granted, I was a part of the campaign launch for this gun, so I'm clearly biased. But I have to ask, where is the lie? You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.